Hello, hello everybody, we're back here with some more Bioshock. Um, so last night I got past uh, Neptune's Bounty, we're done with that. I'm about to head to the Smuggler's Hat up, but first I'm backtracking to get the two audio diaries that I missed. Um, so I don't miss out and, uh, and I'm unable to get those and get that trophy. Um, the two I'm missing are called, I believe, uh, I went back and like triple checked on the list. I believe the ones I'm missing are um, Have My Badge and uh, Fontaine Must Go, I think. Um, oh no, it's Fontaine Smugglers, that's what it is. Um, so we're going to go head back to Jet Postal to go get those and uh, the Wharf Master's office. And I took out the Big Daddies and I took out, I don't think, I shouldn't be getting too much uh, bother from Splicers. <laughs> nope, just kidding, there's one. Where you at? Come here. Ooh, nice. That's gonna be useful. Hmm. This is what makes them really easy to kill. Oh, whoops. I that was my wrench. There we go. In trouble time, give your little girl the life that she deserves. Free of charge. After all. I'm gonna check the map because I can't remember where Jet Postal is. Um Warfman, okay, so they're over here on the left side. The map is like really convoluted. Uh the lower war. And then over Children are the future. I don't I don't understand this. If I go it's like shoots and ladders. It's like <laughs> It's just not a normal map. You like go stairs here, and then to, and then the stairs there as well. I don't, I don't. Who cares? It shouldn't be too hard to find them. I guess it's just, uh, oh, I just have to go up. There's stairs over here? I, who knows? Honestly. Doesn't make any sense. I don't think there's a way to get to the... Yeah, whatever, this is stupid. I'm just gonna go up the doors. <laughs> Dumb. It's dumb. That's that. Okay, that pisses me off. That's the one thing I don't like about this game is the maps. All right. Should be. Where's that camera? I don't know. All right, I got a. I got some atom, but there's nothing I really need right now. So we're not too worried about that. I wonder if I can pick this fish up. Oh, what a waste. It's a waste of a good plasma. You can't even throw a fish at people. Come on. Oh, I guess that's the, yeah. Okay, that's where the stairs are. Ow, what the hell? Oh, I guess there was, um, there was a proximity mine right there. Nice. Okay. Anyway, so it's, for, for this video, I'm just going to be doing, a. Uh, we're gonna run through the smuggler's hideout, which doesn't take long at all, and then um, gonna go to Arcadia. I'm pretty sure is the next one, um, and then after that, it's uh, it's I can't I never remember what the level's called, but it's the one with um, the the artist, the singer, the shit. I'm such a bad fan of this game. Um, whatever, you know how I'm talking about. I'm just having a brain fart right now. Sorry, I already took your little sister, buddy. Took all of them. Alright, so we'll get the one at Jet Postal.
Okay. Not what happened in there, but all right. We all move the great chain and the great. Oh, did I really not get that one? Oh my god. Okay. I thought I had picked this one up, but what happened was I had to re. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's get stuck on that. My God. If you can unhack them, no, you can't. Uh, what I the the part that that was at, I had saved right before there, right before you get down to where Jet Postal is, and I guess I died a couple times, and I kept I forgot to go back and get it the second time. Anyway, that's the oh shit. Whoops. All right, you know what I'm gonna do actually. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Catch me. Come on. Come on. My big daddy will be carrying money, so we're gonna go ahead and let him take the uh, brunt of that. I'll go ahead and heal just in case. I'm gonna hide. Stay away from me, dude. Ow, what the hell? Okay, I'm screwed. Just gonna, okay, I just gotta get out of the way here. I wish there was a plasma that like gave the uh, or a tonic that gave the um, the security bots like more firepower because this is really useful in in that it takes down Big Daddy's health without it um, without it them ever bothering you. But I'm gonna trip another alarm. I just really just want to get the money that he's carrying because you need as much money as you can get. See if they don't take them. But anyway, you can see the the uh, last audio diary is on the wall in there, or on the table, I should say. We'll walk in here. Make the doors locked. Yeah, it does. Oh crap! What the hell's in here? Is there a rocket turret in here? What the hell was that? Alright, so that was the last audio diary for this level. Crap. That was a... So I haven't even been back to the tier, so I don't know what's in here. Or I can't remember what's in here, I should say. Oh, that's right. There's that gathers garden. That's where we got, um... Security Bullseye from. And I was... I didn't get the audio diary because I was running and trying to escape the turrets. So let's, uh... Let's go ahead and do another little bullseye on him. He's got half health. That rocket turret is really taking him to task here. Yeah, I think that rocket turret's gonna kill him right now, actually. Come on. Come on! And if not, then I'll just take him out. There we go. Whee! Free money. Alright, let's see what he's carrying. 61 bucks, not too bad. That's a couple health kits. That's, that's why you... Um, even if they're not carrying, or even if they're not um, walking with little sisters, it still um, can be useful to take them out if you can do so without um, putting your own life in jail. Oh, crap! 
putting your own life in jeopardy, I say, as I walk right in front of a turret. And I'm just going to hack it, because I don't want to waste my ammo on it. Um, anyway, what, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it, it, it behooves you to take care of the big daddies, even if they're not um, walking with little sisters, just because they can... Uh, they can be easy to take out with the right tools, and they are sometimes carrying stuff that you need. So. Oops. Wrong one. <sighs> okay. I thought I picked up two health kits in here. Oh, there's one. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that is all 19. Let me just count again and make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's all 19. Three. Yep. Alrighty. So now it's on to the smuggler's hideout. Which is in Peach Wilkins' basement. And that's a really short... It's, it's basically included in the Neptune's bounty level. I don't even call it a separate level just because it's so short. So... Goodbye. That damage bonus. Normally it takes like two shots to take those guys out with a shotgun. Um, I prefer the shotgun though. It's bad news for any zombie. Uh, normally it takes two shots, but when you get the damage upgrade, it's, it's just one. Um, two or three sometimes. Now, if I can only remember where Peach Wilkins is actually located at. Whoop. Alright. Nothing to see here. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Ah, yes. Here we go. And last night, I jumped down from there and died. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. I've never walked before. This looks like the sketchiest place in the world. Um. That's right. I am going for the um. All the all the trophies so far. Besides the survivor ones, because I'm not playing on survivor, but um, I'm gonna try to get all the trophies in one playthrough. So you need to grab, I need to grab all the tonics when I see them. Um, I think there's 58. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we got the power of the people machine, and we go through here. Nope, just kidding. Other door. Alright, time to head to the smuggler side out. And there are only three audio diaries in this part. Alright, here we go. Potato chips. Nice. Taters. Ah! Right the submarine bay, but I can't get in. I need you for that. My family can't be more than a hundred yards away. I always pick up booze, and I don't want to do that. Especially when I'm low on Eve. 
bad idea. Is that a vending machine? Oh, that's creepy. Can I pick up the and there we go. Oh crap. Well, that was stupid of me. There's that first audio. Wait, where did he go? God, if I lost the audio diary, I'm gonna be so pissed. There we go. Okay. We all come down here. Figured we all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. Oh, He's open for frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like uh, one of us, you know? Like he's worked a day in his life. He says meet him at his fish Whoops. joint at 11. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. Hey, it's not like things could get a lot worse. Ooh. I, I just loot bodies without even looking at them, so I did see that that was it. I fuck, I keep doing it, I'm not even looking at it. Fun, but enough is enough. If you press that button, you'll learn what it means to truly be my enemy. Keep expecting it to just be like first aid kits, but nope. It's just stuff that's like... And, and they do, I mean, they do help you, because some of them give you health, some of them give you Eve, but they also take away uh, health and Eve, respectively, so it's just some of them is just not worth it to me. I would rather just use um, health packs. I'm trying to turn my flashlight on because I've been playing Outlast and it's just not working. I'll go ahead and save. It never really explains why his wife and kid are just in that submarine. I think that's just kind of silly. You blow up. Use up there. Can't see a damn thing in that boot. Give me a pick, and I'll get you out of there. Is he wearing something on his face? I can't really tell. Can you hear me in there, darling? Daisy. Splicers! God damn splicers! Oh crap. Let's 
Wait, how did I lose all that ammo? Oh my god, I am terrible, fucking terrible with these things, and I'm stuck, nice. That was awesome. Well, I'm gonna die. Yeah, oh, there we go. Fuck. <laughs> Sick. You did this to me! You! Oh shit. I didn't realize it loaded. Hold on. Oh, I took a picture of her ass. It's a creep shot. How I blew up a gas tank in her face, and it like didn't do anything. Nice, and it didn't take. Wait, hold on. It's not letting me search again. Oh, dude. Balls. All right, hold on. I keep saying hold on like I'm going somewhere. Daisy. Did we win? Oh shit, we're... Where was that guy? Ah, they're like downstairs. Okay, they're downstairs and they're shooting at me. That's where. Oh crap. Oh my god, I hate spider splicers! Did I kill her? Shit. Fuck.
The good thing about Incinerate is that you have a little margin for error when you hit somebody, because, like, I was a little to the right on that one, and it still hit him, so... Um, that's nice of them. Give me that. I'm gonna bust out the anti-personnel rounds for this one. Let's go ahead and heal. Whoops. What the hell? That's not where I was aiming it at. Balls. I don't know where they went. But I did just get a health kit. Oh, crap. There we go. There's an auto diary in there. Nice. Spent the lawn and John with that crowd scientist. She's damaged goods, alright. Just like all those chumps, they scraped out of them. Look how they hit all that cash and it's fucking nothing. It was like six bucks. Oh crap. Go to Arcadia. So that was some intense shit. It just went down. Atlas's wife and son died in a sub. Uh, presumably at the hand of Andrew Ryan, who controls basically all of the splicers in Rapture. Um, so, the mystery, the plot thickens. And so we get to Arcadia, and this is, I think, my favorite level in the game. I'm not sure. It's a toss-up between this and, um... Fort Frolic. That's what it is. Thank you. Fort Frolic. So now we're starting to get into the meat of the game. Um, and there's still a lot of time left. I mean, there's still about ten hours left. Um. Patrick? Ain't that just like Ryan? Waits until we're almost out, then he pulls the string. We'll find the bastard. We'll find him, and we'll tear his heart out! I came to this place to build the impossible. You came to rob what you could never build. A hum, gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe is sponged from my account. Well, breathe deep, so later you might remember the taste. You get to the bathosphere in the rolling hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. And then all God, the it's so beautiful. Paid in full. Oh, 
Holy shit. Uh, seven years later, and I'm still amazed by the stuff that they did in this game. I'm, I'm such a fangirl. Okay. Yep. Hey, can you help me, man? Can you help me out? That's weird. He sounds more like a person than uh oh, Jesus God, somebody help. He sounds more like a person than any of the other splicers. That's really kind of unsettling. So that explains kind of the hallucinations we've been having. Sort of? I don't know. Let's go see what, uh... Let's see what's going on with this guy. Who is Atlas? That's a good question. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo, just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. Hmm. Let's go find out what this guy's yelling about. Oh Jesus God, somebody help! They're everywhere! Uh ha! There we have our first look at the Houdini splicer. He disappeared. And the Houdinis are I mean they're pretty self explanatory. They just tell they teleport. Um, which was a plasmid that was kind of on the, it was on the docket for this game when they were first. Uh, ooh, that is creepy. Uh, basically, they was uh, they was in the game and they cut it because they couldn't figure out how to um, really how to how to put it in the game, like how to incorporate it smoothly. But it was in multiplayer in Bioshock too. Um, anyway, the Houdinis are one of my least favorite enemies. Hey, over here! It's still weird to me that that guy's not talking like a like a splicer, like he's talking like a normal person, just the way his like the inflection in his voice. And I like how basically all the damage bonuses just tell you, oh, they're vulnerable to anti-personnel rounds. Thank you. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, he was trying to. That's spooky. Oh, crap. Nice you splice out when you're on fire like that, but whatever. <laughs> See like chunks of skin when they when they teleport. It's really creepy. Oops, I'm hiding. I mean, they're not too terribly hard to take out. They're just a pain in the ass because they do that 
So you can pretty much just kind of run away from them, honestly. You don't even have to fight them. They're not... They don't really like fighting. Um... Ah! Uh, there we go. I'm just carrying the chlorophyll solution that I need. Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Riot asked. So I see how many little sisters there were in here. to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pot? <laughs> oh, I started to argue with the man and then I remembered who signed my check. Only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. Okay. This level's a bit long. I mean, all the levels are long, but, like, this one is especially. Shit. Fuck. I don't know where this is coming from. Whoops. Just keep going. Ah, balls! I don't remember when I saved last. I think it was pretty recently. If you're in here and you're not already following me, please go ahead and do so. We well, have a minute. Ah, shit. Really? Really? I am such an idiot. Oh, that was stupid of me. Well, see, that's the <laughs> that's the thing about playing on on hard without vital chambers or playing just without vital chambers at all is you got to keep saving and not get complacent. And I'm just gonna pick up the audio diaries and not even listen to him because we already listened to him. I came to 